for the season five update the mtar got some new attachments added to it from the all-out warfare or battlefield 2042 experience let's get into the ones i'd recommend for the best setup make sure to stick around as later in the video i'll be giving my full reasoning for these attachments plus a lot more so after the sights we've got the tr1 thermal 1.25 times and then the ghost hybrid 1.5 to 4 times and then finally the fusion hollow for the magazine there's only two options so we've got the standard issue extended and then the standard issue for the under barrel we've got the lwg grip the ls1 laser sight and then finally the cobra grip and for the barrel we've got the default muzzle the wrap suppressor and finally the warhawk compensator for this episode of should you use it we're throwing it back to the bf3 bf4 days with the mtar 21. This is another weapon that has been added to Battlefield 2042 through the Portal Vault. The MTAR is an assault rifle that is best used at close range due to its severe bullet drop off as the range of engagement increases. This is further compounded by the fact that not long after Season 5 dropped, its bullet to kill at close range got increased from 4 to 5 bullets at 0 to 39 meters. However, due to its high rate of fire, the MTAR is still a viable choice at close range, especially if you want to try a new weapon or have a change of style on the battlefield. I just want to touch upon the MTAR stats a bit more. So going to the damage drop off, at 0 to 39 meters it's 22 damage per bullet or 5 bullets to kill. At 40 to 99 meters it's 18 damage per bullet or 6 bullets to kill. In 100 meters plus it's 15 damage per bullet or 7 bullets to kill. So that's kind of where you can see it's kind of more of a viable choice at close range instead of trying to engage enemies further out as you're more than likely to lose. Breaking down the MTAR attachments and why I picked them. Starting off with the sights, we've got the TR1 Thermal. Pretty standard at this point across the Studio Use It series. It's just there to highlight enemies through foliage or if they're running in and out of smoke, just makes them easier to see. Then we've got the Ghost Hybrid 1.5 to 4 times. I mainly use it for the 4 times if I need sort of a better zoom to be able to see enemies. If I want to like tap single fire or burst fire, it's there. Just give me that bit more magnification to see them more clear. And then we've got the Fusion Hollow if I want to switch it up from the TR1 Thermal. And I still want that sort of low magnification sight. The Fusion Hollow there is to back me up. Magazines, there's only two choices. We've got the Standard Issue Extended and the Standard Issue. You know, both do the same thing. Obviously, the Standard Issue has a bit of a slower reload. But you can get more bullets from it compared to the Standard Issue. So that's why the Standard Issue Extended is first. And then the Standard Issue is there if you run out of ammo in the Extended Version. For the Underbarrel, we've got the LWG Grip. So accuracy whilst moving. I find this weapon close range you know you maybe want to be strafing a bit but i do have the ls1 laser sight that's there just to enable me to you know hit fire with the weapon get that accuracy since hip fire is so good in battlefield 2042 when you're in an, an objective or close quarters corridor you know you want to be sort of trying to avoid aiming down sight if you can when you're close quarters just so you can spray with the laser sight and you know be able to kill enemies a lot easier and then the cobra grip is there so accuracy while static if i need to shoot enemies at a distance the Cobra Grip's there for that bit of accuracy if I need it. For the barrel, we've got the default muzzle, just gives better accuracy. The wrap suppressor, so obviously that mini-map stealth at 40 meters plus, and then you get no hit to the overall damage. Like I said, other suppressors give a hit to the overall damage. The wrap suppressor keeps the damage the same. And then the Warhawk Compensator is there for that recoil control. I find the recoil is actually all right on the MTAR, but if you do struggle with it, that Warhawk Compensator will help you out. If you want to see more videos like this, there's a full playlist at the end of this video, as well as in the description for you know the majority of the other weapons in Battlefield 2042. If you want to see more content like this, make sure to leave a like. If you're new here, subscribe. Got plenty of guides, weapon breakdowns, tips and tricks, and more for Battlefield 2042, as well as past Battlefield games. And yeah, until the next one, have a good one.